All right, boys, here is a quick tutorial on how to get aggressive shakes on CapCut. So this is what it looks like. So as you can see, the result is very intense. These are hard shakes. So they're gonna be fast. They're gonna have a lot of flicker, a lot of white flash, a lot of blur. So I'm gonna show you everything about it today. So first thing first, make sure you open CapCut. Make sure that all of your clips are ready according to the beat of the song. So we're gonna go straight to the first clip. And before we start, I wanna put some flicker effect and put some keyframes in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the effects. I'm gonna search the nightclub and then I'm gonna click on black flash number two then i'm gonna click on adjust and we're gonna put the intensity and the speed to 20 but feel free to put it higher if you want so this is gonna put a nice little flicker effect to the clips next up what i want to do is i want to put some keyframes so we're gonna put a keyframe at the beginning and at the end of the clip and then we're gonna go to the keyframe at the end and we're gonna zoom in just a tiny bit and then after that we're gonna click on graph and we're gonna put ease out two all right so next up we're gonna start the shake so we're gonna click on the animations we're gonna click on in and we're gonna select swing top left we're gonna put it around 0.3 and then we're gonna go to out we're gonna select fade out and we're gonna put it around 0 0.2 0 0.3 as well so this is what it looks like at the moment next up we're gonna open effects we're gonna go to nightclub and we're gonna select shake so you're gonna put the shake at the beginning of the clip and make sure the length is at the absolute minimum so after that we're gonna put another shake so we're gonna go to effects effects nightclub and shake again but this time we're gonna put the entire length of the clip then we're gonna click on adjust we're gonna put the speed to seven and the intensity to seven as well and then after that we're gonna copy and paste the shake right under it so you should have two of them just like this so after that we're gonna put some blur so we're gonna go to effects we're gonna go to the opening closing category and we're gonna select oblique blur after that make sure you put the length to the absolute minimum then we're gonna click on adjust we're gonna put the blur to around 75 so next up we're gonna copy the blur two times in a row so it should look like this you should have three of them and then after that we're gonna search oblique blur again so we're gonna put oblique blur again but this time we're gonna click on adjust we're gonna put the blur to around 50 and we're gonna copy and paste it one time just like I'm doing so it should look like this and finally I'm gonna do it one last time so we're gonna go to oblique blur we're gonna click on adjust we're gonna put it to around 25 and this is what it looks like so as you can see you have three of them here you have two of them here and then one of them right here so next up we're gonna put this very popular white flash at the beginning of each clip so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go to overlay we're gonna add a white overlay we're gonna click on blend we're gonna click on overlay and then we're gonna go to animations we're gonna go to fade out and we're gonna put it at the maximum so we're pretty much done at this point so let's see what we got so for the effects we got some black flash number two we got a lot of shakes and a lot of oblique blurs as well and also we have the swing top left animation as well oh definitely don't forget about that so now you can pretty much copy and paste all of your effects to each one of your clips so after everything is done you can finally export your project and this is the final result Yep, I think it looks pretty good. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, bro. It's literally free. And on that note, we'll see you guys into the next video. Stay safe, y'all.